So one day, this woman's skydiving, and it's amazing, and it's thrilling, but then it's time to open her parachute. And her pack opens, but her chute is tangled. So she tries to cut it, because that'll trigger the reserve chute. Except the reserve chute is all twisted up too. And so she doesn't know what to do until boom, she suddenly hits the ground and everything goes black. Now her name's Victoria, and Victoria is a skydiving instructor. She's also a physiotherapist in the army. And one day, the army sends her a patient with a hurt knee. This guy, Emil. So she works with Emil to rehabilitate his knee, and they really hit it off. They're both in the army, they both like skydiving, so pretty quickly, they fall in love. Now, Emil is already married to another woman. But whatever, he leaves that woman, and then he and Victoria get married. Here's a picture of them. Here's the thing about Emil, though. Emil isn't very good at managing money. He likes to spend it on big nights out and nice clothing and nice cars. And he really doesn't know how to budget, so he just keeps getting more and more in debt. Here's the other thing about Emil. He also really likes to smash. I guess Victoria's sex drive isn't high enough, because soon enough, he secretly gets a Tinder account and he starts trolling for hookups. He also starts hiring escorts and smashing with them. He goes to swingers clubs and smashes there. And he also starts smashing with his ex-wife. The guy's apparently got a lot of time on his hands. But while he's doing doing all this, on Tinder, he meets this woman, Stephanie, and they start smashing. And after about six months, Emil ends up really liking Stephanie. Like, a lot. Like, he wants to leave Victoria and start a whole new life with Stephanie. So, instead of just divorcing Victoria, Emil comes up with a two-step plan to get rid of her for good so he can be with Stephanie and pay off his debt. And step one, he'll increase his life insurance policy on her. And step two, unalive wife. So he has his plan. First, he goes and he secretly raises the life insurance policy on Victoria to 120,000 pounds, which is more than enough to pay off his debt. So step one is done. And now on to step two. So one morning before work, he sneaks into the kitchen and he opens a cabinet and he loosens a gas valve fitting so that gas will leak into the house. Then he says goodbye to Victoria and he leaves for work. And while he's at work, he spends all day waiting around for police or paramedics to call him and inform him his wife has died from this gas leak. But that all fails. She ends up catching it and texting him, hey, did you know there's a gas leak? So that plan doesn't work. So we're still on step two. And now Emil's got to try something else. So about a week later, he makes a reservation for him and Victoria to skydive together. And it's nice, they both love skydiving. So the day before their jump, he goes to the skydiving facility and he picks up her parachute from the kit store. And he sneaks that parachute into the bathroom and he starts messing with it. Now Emil is not only a veteran skydiver, he also had a job on the side packing parachutes. So he knows what he's doing. He removes the soft links from the main chute, which are these little parts here. And he tangles the main lines and he twists everything around. And then he puts it all back in and then he hides the pack in a locker. The next day, Emil and Victoria go to the skydiving facility and he picks up the mangled chute and he gives it to her. Then they go up in the plane, she puts the chute on, the door opens, they give her the signal and she jumps. And at first the fall is amazing, it's thrilling, it's everything she had hoped for, but then it's time to open her parachute. And her pack opens but her chute is tangled. So she tries to cut it because that'll trigger the reserve chute. Except the reserve chute is all twisted up too. And so she doesn't know what to do. So Victoria panics as she falls 120 miles an hour, spinning wildly through the Air, all the while she's trying to fix her chute. And suddenly, boom, she hits the ground and everything goes black. Sometime later, Victoria wakes up and it takes her a bit to realize where she is. She's on the ground alive with other skydivers standing around her. Somehow, she survived the fall. She has severe injuries to her spine and her lung and her ribs, but she's alive. So again, step two definitely didn't work. Why? Well, apparently it was a low altitude jump, the mangled parachute created some drag, and when she hit the ground, she had landed on recently plowed soil, which was soft enough to cushion her fall. Basically, she got lucky. And as Victoria is in the hospital recovering, she absolutely doesn't want to believe that Emil would try to unalive her. But the instructor at the skydiving facility, he examines her parachute and he sees everything wrong with it. So he calls the police. So now police are involved and they have parachute experts analyze the chute and they're like, yeah, someone sabotaged this. So then police start looking into Emil and they find out all about his money problems, all his sexual affairs, the sudden change in Victoria's life insurance policy, and of course his expert parachute packing skills.
details. So he's looking guilty as hell, and they arrest him. Here's his mugshot. Now all this eventually goes to trial, and Victoria still refuses to believe that her husband would make a plan trying to unalive her. So she stops cooperating with police, and she ends up testifying in his favor. Emil, her husband, the guy who tried to unalive her twice. Anyway, he goes to trial, two times actually, because there was a mistrial, but Emil is eventually found guilty of two counts of attempted murder, and he ends up getting sentenced to life. And ultimately, Victoria does wise up, and she eventually divorces him. Good for her. Shout out to England. 